Joining us now from Washington is aviation expert Peter Goltz, former managing director of the National Transportation Safety Board. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Maggie. Safety is the first question. We're seeing flights slowly resuming. Would you put your wife and children on one of those flights? Well, I think I would if the, uh, if the authorities assures the public that this is safe. And I think it, they're going to be monitoring these early fights very carefully. They're going to be looking at the engines. They're going to be looking at the aircraft to see if there's any indication that the ash cloud is affecting uh, the performance of the aircraft. Can you blame the public if they're a bit skeptical? Because we know that the airlines are losing hundreds of millions of dollars every day. Is it possible they could be putting financial interests over safety? Well, certainly they're feeling great financial pressure. And, and the other concern was that there really hasn't been the actual monitoring of the ash cloud uh, as closely as the airlines think should have been done. This is a data-driven business, and there hasn't been a lot of actual data taken from the ash cloud. They've been using theoretical models to uh, close the airspace. So how can they assure the public that it's safe to fly and, and distinguish well, that, these three zones? Well, I think they have had planes up that have been monitoring this recently, and uh, the, they're relying on their models. And I think they're going to look at these aircraft that come down early very carefully. If there's any indication, uh, they're going to close the airspace up uh, quickly. Do you think, then, that the planes that are going up are essentially guinea pigs? Well, I think that's an interesting question. Uh, and I think that the, uh, the results will, will come in very carefully. The first planes uh, will be landing shortly. The mechanics and the experts are going to be looking at those very carefully. And uh, if they look good, then they'll keep the, f the flights going. If they don't, they're going to shut the airspace right back down. Well, we'll certainly hope for the best. Peter Goltz, thank you so much, Peter. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.